हेलो एवरी वन सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू अबाउट द डर्मेटोलॉजिकल डायग्नोसिस मीन्स इन द डर्मेटोलॉजिक कंडीशन हाउ वी कैन डायग्नोज अ कंडीशन सो फॉर दिस वी हैव टू फर्स्ट डायग्नोसिस इज ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द निकोल्सकी साइन सो फर्स्ट डायग्नोसिस इज अ निकोल्सकी साइन सो हाउ वी कैन डू द निकोल्सकी टेस्ट सो फॉर दिस वी हैव टू अप्लाई आर टेंजेंशियल प्रेशर सो इन दिस वी हैव टू अप्लाई आ टेंजेंशियल प्रेशर इज अप्लाइड ओवर द स्किन सो टेंजेंशियल प्रेशर इज अप्लाइड इज अप्लाइड ओवर द स्किन ओवर स्किन सो वेन वी अप्लाई द प्रेशर दैन वट वी फाइंड वी फाइंड दैट द एपिडर्मिस लेयर इज सेपरेटेड फ्रॉम द डर्मिस लेयर सो हेयर एज यू सी हेयर वी अप्लाई अ प्रेशर सो वेन वी अप्लाई अ प्रेशर द epidermis layer gets separated from the dermis layer please uh, look it very carefully in this the epidermis layer separates from the dermis layer so this is the observation we found in the nikolsky sign so for the observation so for the observation what we find so in the observation we find that the epidermis that the epidermis separates from the dermis layer separates from the dermis layer so this is the nikolsky sign how we can test the nikolsky so in this we apply a tangential pressure so this is about the nikolsky sign so the nikolsky sign is also of two types that is one is the one is the true nikolsky sign one is true nikolsky sign nikolsky sign and the other is the false Nik pseudo nikolsky sign pseudo means false so other is pseudo निकोल्सकी साइन सीडो निकोल्सकी साइन सो हेयर इन दिस इमेज ऑल्सो यू फाइंड दैट द एपिडर्मिस लेयर इज सेपरेटेड फ्रॉम द डर्मिस लेयर सो दिस इज अ निकोल्सकी साइन एंड निकोल्सकी साइन इज ऑफ टू टाइप्स ट्रू निकोल्सकी साइन एंड अ सूडो दैट इज फॉल्स निकोल्सकी साइन सो नाउ फॉर दिस वी हैव टू लर्न ओनली द एग्जाम्पल्स तो एग्जाम्पल ऑफ ट्रू निकोल्सकी साइन वर फर्स्ट वन इज द एग्जाम्पल्स फर्स्ट वन इज द पैम्फिगस फोलियसिस पैम्फिगस फोलियसिस इज अ एग्जाम्पल ऑफ ट्रू निकोल्स की साइन सेकेंड इज द पैम्फिकस वुलगैरिस पैम्फिगस वुलगैरिस इट इज ऑल्सो द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ ट्रू निकोल्स की साइन एंड द सेकेंड एग्जाम्पल इज द एस 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 ट्रिपल एस दैट इज स्टेफाइलो कॉकस दैट इज स्टेफाइलो कॉकस स्कैल्डेड Staphylococcus scalded skin syndrome. So it is the examples. It is also the example of two Nikolsky sign. Pamphigus, the Pamphigus foliaceus, and Pamphigus vulgaris, and the the uh, S S S that is Staphylococcus scalded skin syndrome. So these were the example of two Nikolsky sign. While for the pseudo Nikolsky sign, we have the example. So here the example is T ten. The example is ten. That is toxic epidermal. that is toxic epidermal toxic epidermal necrolysis so it is the example of pseudo nikolsky sign so it is the example of pseudo nikolsky sign that is the tan so pseudo is tan and true is pamphigus and the sss so these were the example of the nikolsky sign now the next diagnosis test we do for the dermatological condition is to so the second test is dioscopy we do the dioscopy we do the dioscopy for the dioscopy what we do so in the dioscopy a glass slide is placed uh, pressed on the lesion so in this a glass slide in this a glass slide is pressed over the skin pressed over the skin lesion so where the lesion is present on that a glass slide is pressed so as the glass slide is pressed on the lesion so what will happen either we see the erythema or we see the purpura is there so either we see the erythema or we can see the purpura so erythema when we will see the erythema when there is increase of blood in the vessels when increase in the blood in the vessels we see the erythema well when there is extra vasodilation of rbc means the rbc gets break down so that is we that is the purpura so extra extra vasodilation of rbc so what will happen in the 
purpura there is extra vasation of the rbc while in the eridema eridema means the particular site becomes the more uh, there is more blood supply so increase blood in that particular vessels that will show the eridema so dioscopy shows the eridema or it shows the purpura so eridema but uh, in when there is increased blood in the vessels then there is a blanching response then there is a blanching response so as we see the blanching response so here as in the image we see that there is a when we press the slide on the particular lesion there we see a blanching response we see a blanching response means increase blood in that vessels so it is a blanching response so here we see a blanching response while in, in the purpura but we will see we see that there is a stain on the blood vessel wall and it is a known blanching it is a known blanching it is a known blanching response please remember it that it is a known blanching response so known blanching response is seen in the purpura while the blanching response is seen in the eridema so here what we what we uh, find we find that there is stain on the blood vessels and the palpable purpura will be seen means small vessel vasculitis is there so in this palpable purpura is seen so palpable purpura is seen and uh, what will happen in the palpable purpura so there is a small vessel vasculitis small vessel vasculitis is seen here vasculitis is seen here please remember it that there is small vessels vasculitis is seen in the known blanching response and the blanching response of the erythema while in the purpura there is non blanching response now uh, when in the there is one condition in which we use the dioscopy so here the one condition in which we use the dioscopy that is the is in the lupus vulgaris that is used in the lupus vulgaris so lupus vulgaris is a cutaneous tube please remember it that the lupus vulgaris is a cutaneous tb cutaneous tuberculosis so in this when we apply a glass slide and the glass slide is pressed so what will happen so when the glass slide is pressed we we see when the glass slide is pressed we see that the uh, apple jelly nodules is found we see a apple jelly nodule we see a apple jelly nodule so as in the in this image particular image when we pressed this slide we see a apple jelly nodule is seen so this is the example of the dioscopy the example is lupus vulgaris that is a cutaneous tb means skin tb and in this we see a apple jelly nodules please remember it that apple jelly nodule is seen in the lupus vulgaris the other name is cutaneous tb so that's all for today's video thank you bye bye guys